Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today Knox are home to Mansfield in the Nottinghamshire Derby. And yeah, it feels like I haven't been to a Knox game for ages lately. I think Stevenage was the last was the last game I went to. But yeah, focus on today's game. It is a big, big game. Not just is it the local derby and we haven't beaten Mansfield in about 340 attempts. But promotion, it's a big game in the promotion race. We are third. Mansfield are fifth. Uh, we're both on good run of form. We've won two of our last three, I believe, and I think we've got our mojo back in recent weeks. I mean, last week against Forest Green, we got our first away win since Boxing Day. Mansfield would have been in good form lately, but they have got a new manager. David Flickcroft has replaced Steve Evans. Um, so, yeah, can, can we please end this awful record? I just want a win. Can we please just have a win against Mansfield? That's all I'm asking for. Like, oh, it's just it's been too long. Anyways, come on, Knots, please. Today, today, let's get three points because if we do win, it's in our own hands. Promotion is in our own own hands, and if Wickham slip up, um, I believe we're five points clear or something if we do win this game. So it's very important, not just for local pride, but for the promotion race as well. So yeah, come on Knots, come on you pies, let's do this. Welcome to the Skybot Big 2 fixture between Knots County and Mansfield Town. The kickoff is in a round So the team news is out, it is, I believe it's on change from Forest Screen, apart from Ami Ovi, it is up front, he is, I think Alessandro started up front against Forest Screen, Ami Ovi is back in, apart from that it's the same team, with no being killed in midfield, Grant the Hawkwood wings, Duffy and Ball at centre back and Dickinson wins at left back. Yeah, hopefully that is the team to win this, the derby. Colin, score prediction. Score prediction. Three one to Knox. Scores. Ah. Uh, Stead. And Grant. And Grant getting the brace. But yeah, a bit of a moment there, I think it was, who 
was, it was Alex McDonald that went down. Yeah. Alex McDonald went down, Lots kicked out of play thinking he was injured. It was holding a Mansfield throwing. Lots now got a free kick on the edge of the area. Oh. It's come to nothing, still 1-0 as we approach half time. Well, the second half just left to begin. And he's got some months soon now. It's been a fairly decent first try by Knox. We've been bursting the ball most of the time. It, and we even missed a sitter though. And the, the Hawkins tries to scramble it in from the corner. Five odd minutes to go. It's a big off of football. Come on, Knox. Simon, we were late back from the chaos. So what's your time verdict? We're all late. It's, uh, I think it's benefiting us a little bit that they're a better team than they normally are when we play them. Normally it's all about how hard do they fight, who wants to battle the hardest. And because they're a better team, they're actually trying to play a little bit. And I think that plays into our hands. Not really been a great deal of goal mouth action. I think they've had one attempt to goal, I think so have we. I'm quite happy with second half stays the same. Well, Number two's all over Snet! There's my reaction, job done. No, sitting serious. Uh, it was one goal was always going to win the game. It was a very scrappy local derby. Not much in it, apart from a first half goal from Terry Orkreese, which was a scramble in itself. Um, yeah, not much else happened.
7 minutes signalled, 8 minutes played, you do the maths, is that it the same number? So we are back from Meadow Lane, Knotts 1, Mansfield 1. This close to beating them. We're never gonna do it, are we? <laughs> oh, penalty in the 99th minute. In the fairness, I thought Knox played quite well today. You know, we were, it wasn't a performance where we blew away the opposition. It was just, it was a solid performance. Noble and Hewitt played really well. The two best players on the pitch were the centre midfielders. Stead Ronnie socks off. Uh, I thought Duffy played well at the back. He had Danny Rose in his back pocket, in my opinion. Dickinson had a good first half. I thought it was just a solid team performance. But when you when you allocate seven minutes and you play nine, I just I don't know anymore. You know, we, sometimes we make it hard for ourselves. We sit back, we sit back and we invite pressure on that's unnecessary. We did it again, but I felt like we dealt with the pressure well. We were, we were clearing it easily and then the penalty is given, but if the referee blows the whistle at the right time, the penalty isn't given. And you know, I didn't feel like we time wasted. We time wasted a little bit. Every team time wastes and to waste time another time. Everyone does it. But I don't think we time wasted that much. But I just I'm just so annoyed because I don't know what to make of the game. I've seen the penalty decision. I I'm not sure whether it's in a right. It is definitely on ball. But whether it's in a right area, the penalty area, I'm I'm, it's too close to call. I'm, I'm just, I just, I'm not sure. The ref could have done better in parts of the game, to be honest. But either way, you know, um, there were some fouls, you know, some fouls that Mantle played to the others that might not have been free, might not have been a foul. Like must have been very soft. Others got away with tackles. Mal Benning's challenge on John Stead. Ref bottled that one a bit. Alex McDonald, I don't know how he hasn't been sent off. To be honest, he got involved in nearly everything. Leanne Gold, come on. He dives and when and then a second time, that's just a yellow card itself. And the second time the ball is launched up the field and he and he practically catches the ball. It's it's frustrating, and obviously you're gonna you're gonna blame you're gonna blame it on like so many other things. But when it is when when I'm when when you're annoyed, you're annoyed, you know. And today's one of them days, and every single Knotts fan is really really annoyed. But yeah, we just we're just gonna have to move on. We're gonna have to move on to Chesterfield away. It's really frustrating. And like I say, it's up to you. You, it, whatever your opinion is, is it inside the box or outside the box? You choose. Because I'm still not sure. I'm still not sure. But yeah, we move on to Chesterfield away. We've got to keep winning. Other results haven't gone our way today. Wickham, Coventry, and Lincoln have won. The only result I believe that's gone our way is Exeter, um, who have lost two while Morecambe. But yeah, this is going to be a big final few months. Chesterfield away is a big one, you know. We need to win there because they are a poor side. They are about five points adrift, I believe. Then we've got big games against Wickham and Accrington and Coventry. All in a row. That is massive to the promotion race. Uh, I don't think Mansfield created many clear cup chances, to be honest. I, I don't think they quite played I don't think they played quite well even. Yeah. They've got, you know, Evan under Evans they might have gone up, but under Fletcroft, I'm not so sure. Accrington, I reckon are there but almost Luton they might have slipped up recently but I feel like they've still got good enough quality to go up then 
then it gets tough. It's us, Wickham, Coventry. It's Mansfield, but I don't think Mansfield will go up. I don't think Lincoln will go up either. Uh, Exeter have got a few games in on. It's just really tight in the automatic promotion race. But yeah. Um, yeah. Anyways, we move on. It's frustrating. I don't know when we'll ever beat them. But if we win promotion at the end of the season, you know, it kind of glosses over it. And promotion, at the end of the day, is the ultimate goal. If you enjoyed the vlog, give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the game. Stay subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Stay subscribed if you already subscribed. Be safe, be champions, and as always, salute.